If we compress the entire 13.8 billion year history of the universe into a single calendar year, just 365 days, what would that look like? When would our sun form? What about the Earth? And most intriguingly, when do humans enter the picture? On this scale, one second equals about 437.6 years. And so let's rewind to the very beginning, January 1st. At midnight on January 1st, the cosmic calendar begins with the bang. The universe as we know it emerges from the Big Bang, an infinitely hot and dense point that expands rapidly. In an instant, the universe grows faster than the speed of light. At first, it's too hot for even subatomic particles to exist, but as it cools, quarks and electrons, the building blocks of matter, are born. These quarks form protons and neutrons, which eventually make up you and me. By only 14 minutes and 28 seconds into our cosmic year, the universe cools enough for electrons to orbit an atomic nuclei, forming the first atoms, hydrogen and helium. These atoms emit the first light in the universe, the cosmic microwave background radiation, detectable even today. But no stars shine yet. A faint orange glow lasts for 3 million years before fading, plunging the universe into a long, dark age. On January 8th, something beautiful happened. From the gas and dust left behind by the Big Bang, gravity began to shape the first stars. These stars were vastly different from our sun, consisting of 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. Stars generate energy by fusing lighter elements into heavier ones in their cores, creating the metals we see in the universe today like carbon, oxygen, and iron. But since these were the first stars, there were no processes in place to create heavier elements before then. These stars were 10 to even hundreds of times more massive than our sun, and lived for less than only a million years. And due to their age and short lifespan, we have yet to detect any of these early stars in our observations. It's January 19th, and the universe has become filled with stars, brightly shining and exploding into supernova. Gravity is hard at work and has finally begun forming the first galaxies. These galaxies started small, but will eventually grow by merging with their neighboring galaxies. Soon after, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is born. At this stage, the universe is just 6% of its present day age. Meanwhile, the beautiful structure of the universe as we see it today, the cosmic web, which kind of resembles the neural pathways of the human brain, begins to take shape. Gravity pulls clusters of galaxies together, and over time, these will grow into the superclusters we observe today. These formations will take a lot longer to fully develop. It would have taken all the way until April 11th for the first stars like our own sun to begin forming. These stars would have been rich in heavier elements like iron and carbon, allowing planetary systems like ours to form with rocky, Earth-like planets. This could mark a distinct point in the universe's history, when planets capable of supporting life first begin to emerge, creating a new era in the cosmos. And then it happened. On September 1st, the Sun and the early solar system began to form, with a protosun igniting and the massive planets Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus starting to take shape. Neptune and Uranus at this time were much closer to the inner solar system than they are today. Some scientists believe that one or more ice giants may have formed before being ejected from the solar system. The sun began its fusion processes converting hydrogen into helium, marking the start of its 10 billion year lifespan. Soon after, the rocky planets Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus began forming. But there is also Theia. This planet, roughly the size of Mars, may have been destined to become a second Earth until the Great Collision. Thea crashed into the young Earth, sending debris scattering across the solar system. But instead of disappearing forever, Thea survived as our moon. It would take another 22 days of growth on Earth, with volcanic eruptions, ice ages, and seismic activity before something remarkable occurred. For the first time in the universe, as far as we know, life emerged in the deep oceans of our young planet. The leading theory suggests life began near, near volcanic vents on the ocean floor. The extreme pressures combined with the fluids from these vents and ocean water may have reacted with minerals to form the first organic molecules, the building blocks for all life. The first life forms were single-celled prokaryotes. These conditions exist elsewhere in the universe and even in our own solar system today. 
Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa are believed to have vast oceans beneath their icy crusts. Who knows, maybe life is emerging on those moons right now, just as it did on Earth. Or perhaps, it already has. As the year draws to a close, some important milestones are reached. On October 3rd, the first photosynthetic bacteria began to emerge. These early bacteria absorbed infrared light instead of visible light and produced sulfur rather than oxygen. Later, on October 21st, a new microorganism called cyanobacteria began a beautiful process. Using sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, it created its food through photosynthesis, with oxygen as a byproduct. This marked a crucial turning point. Oxygen levels increased, first filling the oceans, and then the atmosphere. This was the great oxidation event, creating the air we breathe today. Life advanced rapidly as microbes began to cooperate, forming more complex life forms than ever seen before. Finally, on December 17th, just about one week before Christmas, fish began evolving in the oceans, developing skulls and vertebrae. Early on December 20th, at 2.15 a.m., the first sharks began swimming in the vast oceans. Just 19 hours later, the first trees appeared on Earth. 30 million years after the first sharks. Can you believe it? Sharks actually arrived on the planet 30 million years before trees. December 22nd marks a key moment. Life begins the gradual transition from water to land, taking the first steps towards the diverse animal groups we see on Earth today. Four days later, dinosaurs and mammals appear, starting to dominate the land and spread across the planet. Around this time, the supercontinent Pangaea begins to break apart giving rise to the first glimpses of the continents we know today. On December 30th, just one day before New Year's Eve, an asteroid strikes Earth at 6.38 in the morning. It hits the gulf of what is now Mexico at 20 kilometers per second, creating a crater over 170 kilometers wide. The force of this impact is equal to 10 billion atomic bombs, same size as those used in World War II. The explosion ignites an inferno, instantly scorching plants thousands of kilometers away. Earthquakes and tsunamis devastate the planet, but the real danger comes next. Debris from the impact is sent up into the atmosphere, forming a thin soot layer around the Earth. Though it's only about one-tenth of an inch thick, the soot is superheated by the explosion's energy, causing fire to rain down and rapidly heating the atmosphere. Creatures not protected underground or underwater, mainly the dinosaurs, are unable to survive the intense heat. The soot layer blocks sunlight for years, dropping temperatures and making survival even more difficult for the remaining life. 75% of all species on Earth become extinct, wiping out a diverse range of creatures. However, our distant mammal ancestors managed to survive, making it through this terrible event. In terms of our cosmic calendar, all of this unfolds with only 42 hours left in the year. And in those 42 hours, we go from this catastrophic event to you watching this video today. What happens next will change how you see life forever. Consider this your warning. Six hours later, at 12.59 a.m. on the same day, the first ape ancestors appear, marking the beginning of human evolution. On December 31st, the final day of the year, everything accelerates. You ready? At 10.15 p.m., the human genus emerges in Africa. An hour later, at 11.37 p.m., the first Homo sapiens are born. Humans now walk the Earth with just 23 minutes left in the year. History is moving fast. At 11.59.31 p.m., with only 29 seconds to go, humans invent agriculture, shifting from hunting and gathering to farming and settling in one place. With 14 seconds left, the wheel and writing are invented in Mesopotamia. At 12 seconds to midnight, the Egyptian pyramids are completed. Seven seconds before the year ends, the great philosophers of ancient Greece like Archimedes and Plato are alive and shape thought. With just three seconds to go, Nicholas Copernicus discovers that the Earth isn't the center of the universe. One second before midnight. In this final second of the year, the last 400 years of human history are compressed into a single fleeting moment. This second holds Galileo inventing the telescope and observing the universe for the first time. Newton formulating the laws of motion and gravity. The discovery of electricity, Darwin's groundbreaking theory of evolution, Einstein's theory of relativity, and the unraveling of DNA structure, and encapsulates the horrors of World War I, 
the creation and devastation of the atomic bomb during World War II, the founding of America, the intervention of the telephone, the discovery of Pluto, the first successful heart transplant, it contains the fall of the Berlin Wall, the first satellite, the Cold War, the Renaissance, and the entirety of Mozart and Beethoven's works. It marks your birth, the first time you fell in love, the first photograph, the first video, the moon landing, the birth of the internet, and you, sitting here watching this video. Everything, all at once, in just one second. That's perspective.